Join us as we explore medical frontiers. The Japanese are known for their incredible longevity, have enjoyed green tea for almost a thousand years, and Japanese researchers are studying the remarkable and diverse health benefits of the drink. And in recent years, its benefits have been recognized globally. So let's uncover the hidden power of green tea. Shizuoka Prefecture in central Japan is the country's largest producer of green tea. Elementary school students here learn about the health benefits of the drink and have it with their lunch every day. In recent years, studies have found that green tea can lower the risk of viral infections, cancer, dementia, and other diseases. The University of Shizuoka has played a major role in Japan's green tea research. It's studying the relationship between the drink and influenza infection. Hiroshi Yamada, a medical doctor and pharmaceutical scientist, has been doing epidemiological studies for over 20 years. Yamada himself enjoys green tea every day. He has two cups with breakfast. He also drinks two cups during lunch. The fridge in his office is always stocked with green tea. He even has it on his commute home. <laughs> で、全体では Yamada is focusing on catechins, which are substances that give tea its astringency. Catechins are a type of polyphenol. They are found mostly in tea. He conducted a study on 2,050 elementary school students to understand the relationship between green tea consumption and influenza incidence. Compared with students who drank green tea less than three days a week, the incidence dropped 37% in those who consumed it at least three days a week. It fell 40% in those who had it six days a week or more. <laughs> 飲む The influenza virus enters the body through the mucous membranes in the mouth, nose, or throat. The virus has spikes on its surface. It uses the tips of these spikes to latch on to cells. It then enters cells and infects them. Yamada believes that catechins attach to the tips of the spikes, preventing the virus from binding to and entering cells. He also focused on gargling, a common practice in Japan to avoid catching a cold. He did a clinical study with 124 seniors. Three times a day for three months, one group gargled with catechin-infused water, while another group gargled with plain water.
The group that gargled with the catechin water was one-eighth less likely to get influenza than the other group. Based on Yamada's research, this nursing home now has its residents gargle with strong green tea regularly. Studies have also confirmed the antiviral effects of catechins on the COVID-19 coronavirus. Studies have indicated that green tea can also prevent a decline in cognitive function. Kanazawa University in central Japan has been studying the link between green tea consumption and cognitive function for over 15 years, focusing on around 3,500 people aged 60 or above. It found that the risk of cognitive decline in those who drink green tea every day was only one-third compared with those who don't drink any. The University of Shizuoka's Keiko Unno specializes in biochemistry in relation to aging. She is studying how catechins affect cognitive function. So Professor Unno, thank you so much for your precious time today and it's a great pleasure to have, the, have you on the program and thank you so much. Kyo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So, Professor Uno, what prompted you to study, you know, the impact that catechins have on cognitive function? Hi, eto, nijisho te yu no wa, ano, roka ga juyo na risk factor nan desu ne. De, roka ni wa kasei sanso ga kanyo shite iru to iware te orimasu no de, de, katekin wa, no, tsioi kousan ka sayo ga arimasu no de, katekin ni chakumoku shite, Unno experimented on mice of different ages. She gave catechin infused water to one group and regular water to another group. Then she checked for changes in memory. Mice like dark places. When they entered a dark room, Unno gave them an electric shock to teach them that the room was dangerous. A month later, she did the same experiment to see how many of the mice remembered the dark room was dangerous and avoided it. With nine-month-old mice, both groups had a success rate of about 80%. But for mice at the early old age of 12 months, the rate was 60% for the group given plain water and 80% for the group given catechin infused water. For mice at the old age of 15 months, it dropped to 20% for plain water and 50% for the catechin version. This showed that catechins helped suppress a decline in cognitive function in mice during this experiment. Unno also compared the mice's brains. The one on the right is from an old mouse that drank plain water. The one on the left is from an old mouse that drank water containing catechins. The frontal region shrunk in the brain on the right compared with the one on the left.
ていうようなことがあの実際に人でも起こるんじゃないかなということを期待しています。There are four main types of green tea catechins. Uno focused on EGCG, or epigallocatechin gallate, which is the most abundant and did further research. This time, she conducted an experiment adding EGCG to human nerve cells. The nerve cells extended their projections. Confirming that they had been activated. But for EGCG to reach nerve cells in the brain, it must overcome several obstacles. EGCG enters the blood vessels through the small intestine. But only up to 2% of what's consumed is taken in. Even after EGCG travels through the bloodstream and arrives at the brain, it must get past the blood brain barrier, or BBB, in the walls of the brain's blood vessels. The BBB consists of tissue that are bound tightly together. They block unnecessary substances and protect the brain. Uno did an experiment using a model of the BBB. And demonstrated that EGCG can pass through it. So, how did you feel that when you discovered that EGCG and the catechins can pass through the blood brain barrier? So, this is what EGCG is a blood brain barrier. It is a blood b r a i えっと、私たちはその実験で EGCG が確かに通るだろうということを確かめたわけです。Uno measured how much EGCG can pass through the BBB to the brain. She learned that only about 8% of the 2% of EGCG that enters the blood through the small intestine gets past the BBB. In other words, very little of what's consumed reaches the brain. ぐらいが脳に行くだろうというようなことが推定できたわけです。That's a tiny amount. そうなんですね。But Uno says EGCG can activate the nerve cells in the brain through another route. Namely, the large intestine. EGCG is broken down there, and the metabolites that result can activate the brain's neurons. Uno discovered that these metabolites also permeate the BBB after they enter the blood vessels through the large intestine. Ah, at the beginning, the drink of tea and EGCG was first introduced to the brain. またしばらくすると今度腸のところで分解されてできた分解物がまた脳のところに行ってであの脳を活性化するということで、まあ、時間差を持ってそういう刺激が受けられるというようなことが分かったというのが、まあ、これが新しい点ですね。まあ、毎日日日食事事ののたびごととあるいは休憩時間の時ににそうやっってて飲むことによって絶えずこう活性化がいくというようなことがあの推察されるわけです。So for example, you know, obviously the Japanese traditionally have been drinking green tea for decades, and they start very, very young. For somebody, for example, like me at my age, I'm in my early 50s, will it still have a benefit if I start drinking tea now, green tea now? あ、あのネズミの実験でですね。
、えっと、若い時から飲み始めればもちろんいいんですけれどの初老期とか中高齢になってから飲ませたネズミでもちゃんと効果が出ておりまして飲まないよりは絶対飲んだ方がいいということなので、まあ、今まで飲んでない方も思いついた時から飲み始めていただければ効果が期待できるのではないかと思います。So it's never too late. Yes, never, never, never too late. Never, never too late. <laughs> However, green tea contains caffeine, so excessive amounts can be harmful. Babies and pregnant women must be especially careful. お茶として飲むような一時は薬ではないのでアルツハイマーの何かを抑えるとかそこまではちょっと今のところは言えないですね。年取ってくるとこう下がってくる機能をまあちょっとはだけ上げてあげるそういうあのお助け的な機能だと思います。だからあのと薬とは違う治療ではなくてあくまでも予防ですね。Finally, let's look at the anti-cancer effects of EGCG. Hirofumi Tachibana at Kyushu University in southwestern Japan is studying how EGCG affects cancer cells. 緑茶には EGCG という緑茶に特有な成分が豊富に含まれておりまして、えー、その成分ががん細胞を殺したりその増殖を抑えるということも知られてましたしかしながらどうして EGCG が正常な細胞を傷つけずにがん細胞だけを選択的に殺すのかそういった仕組みを解き明かしたいなっていうことで、えー、この研究テーマを選びました。This is a microscopic image of human lung cancer cells. When left alone, they will proliferate. But after a certain manipulation and the addition of EGCG, the cells drastically decrease. Tachibana made the manipulation to the numerous receptors found on the surface of cancer cells. These receptors are called 67LR. EGCG can bind to them. The binding serves as a switch to relay messages to stimulus transmission substances in the cancer cells. This can stop these cells from multiplying or even kill them. Is it effective for all types of cancers? Does, do all types of cancers express this receptor? So, this 67LR という分子が発現しているがんであれば、すべて、今のところ私たちが調べた範囲においてはすべてによって効いています。How much green tea would need to be drunk, I guess, to suppress the tumor? EGCG が体の中にまず入って、吸収されて入ってくる人がいるわけですね。でもそれらえっとがん細胞を殺すために必要な EGCG を緑茶で取ろうとするととんでもない量の緑茶を飲む必要がありました。This led Tachibana to begin searching for a substance that would boost EGCG's anti-cancer effects. The search led him to a drug called a PDE5 inhibitor, which is used to treat erectile dysfunction. This image shows a mouse transplanted with breast cancer. The red part is cancer cells. Tachibana gave EGCG and the PDE5 inhibitor to this mouse. 14 days later, the cancer was almost gone. It's incredible because it's completely disappeared in that second image. EGCG. の抗がん作用っていうのはがんによって全く違いますですのでこれぐらい取ったらあいいですよっていうことはあお答えすることがあできませんですけれども
、EGCG と先ほど申しましたように、ED 治療薬をですねうまくですね適切に取ることができれば、抗がん剤の開発にもつながることが期待できるというふうに思っております。And Professor, is there any way that you can boost the effect of green tea in terms of suppressing the proliferation of cancer? Yes. And this is what I'm saying. Is there a carrot and a mika? I remember the mika <laughs> well from Kyushu. And also spinach. Yes. And these two are, as you can see, the vitamin A is in the vitamin A. And the mika is in the vitamin A. And the mika is in the vitamin A. And the mika is in the vitamin A. まあ、これらの野菜やみかんに含まれる成分が、まあ、実はですね ED 治療薬と同じようにですね、えー、EGCG の抗がん作用を高めるということが分かっています。That's amazing because I remember I was actually an exchange student in Kyushu in the mid 1980s and in winter what we used to do is we used to sit under the kotatsu which is like a heated table for everyone <笑> and we used to drink みかん and green tea together until my hands went orange So, do you need to have these together? For example, would you need to have a mandarin together with green tea at the same time? 必ずも同時に取る必要はありません。まあ、緑茶に限らずなんですけれども、まあ、どんなに体のいいという言われている食品でも、やはりいいからといって偏ってですね、大量に取りすぎると、それはまあ体に決していいことではない、まあ、悪い影響も出てくるということなんですね。ですので、EGCG の効果をまあ日常的にまあ取って食べてる食品で高めることができれば、まあ、無理して緑茶を一生懸命飲む必要はないということです。じゃあ、in the future、what are you interested in researching in regards to EGCG and cancer？ 特に私が今注目しているのは、まあ、膵臓癌というですね、まあ、非常に満足のいく抗がん剤がない癌があります。EGCG そのものの形を作りまた変えてより EGCG をですね。ED 治療薬なんかの手助けを借りることなくですね、強力に活性化して、えー、癌を叩くような、そういった画期的なですね、抗がん剤を、まあ、作っていきたいかなというふうに考えています。So, Professor, thank you so much for your time today. ありがとうございました。So here we are in downtown Tokyo. We've come to a very unique tea shop, and it's kind of very unusual the approach, considering I think for most Japanese it just has a very unusual approach. So let's go in and check it out. Hello, you must be Stefan. Yes, I am. Good morning. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So this is your fabulous, very unique approach to Ocha. Yes, to Japanese tea. Stéphane Danton is a former sommelier from France. He became fascinated with green tea after arriving in Japan 30 years ago. So what are, you've got huge amounts. So what are these? These are very different flavors, right? Things like apricot, grapefruit, orange, I melon. I mean, this mm. is in, just such interesting flavor combinations. As a sommelier, the thing that I did, I, I added some uh, flavor to the Japanese tea. Because most of the European, most of the Australian, most of the person around the world knows about the flavor of tea, but not, don't especially know about you know, the Japanese tea. So to introduce the real Japanese tea is good to have this kind of thing like that to start, you know? God, Same as a table wine. This is green tea with a mango fragrance added to it. Danton has created over 60 kinds of flavored green tea. I would love to try the mango. I will, I will prepare the mango for you. Most of the time, the Japanese use some teapot. They have plenty of teapot there, you know, but I don't need it. I will explain you about how to do that without teapot. So the, without a teapot? Without teapot. Okay. Everybody has cup at home, you know? Yes. The most important thing when you prepare some Japanese tea is to have leaves and a cup and some hot water here, okay. right? So to prepare a good Japanese tea, so simple, you use a teaspoon. Yes. You don't need to put so much leaves because the leaves have to open You know, quite wide. Okay. Use one teaspoon, about one teaspoon like that. And the thing that you are doing, you need to put only the water you need to drink. Only the water you need to drink. You do like that. And you wait for only 30 seconds. Pour it through a tea strainer and it's ready.
Like that, you don't need. Wow, to. that's amazing! It's like a mango green yes, tea, but the mango good. is really coming mm. in. It's, yes, it's so good. refreshing. And the leaves are the leaves are not open yet, so I mean that I can do it one more time. Maybe with this kind of tea, we can have it mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. two, three, and if you are. So that's you incredibly have four. economical okay. then. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. it's 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 healthy and economical well, as yes. well. This is Hojicha soy milk tea with chocolate banana fragrance added. Hojicha is roasted green tea. The tea is simmered over medium heat. Black pepper is added and it's ready. Yes. So you've got a little bit of pepper at the end. Hmm, that's banana choco. And they prepared this one with soy milk for you. Wow, this is fantastic. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is great. Wow, this is absolutely delicious. And I think the combination with that little bit of hint of pepper mm, yes, I put some and pepper. the banana chocolate mm. with the soy milk, that's a fabulous drink. The last drink we'll introduce is a cold brew green tea. 10 grams of green tea are added to one liter of water and left in the fridge overnight. Danton recommends drinking the chilled green tea in a wine glass. This looks like a fabulous Chardonnay. I want to have a taste. And you can leave your leaves inside because, in fact, because it's not hot water, the leaves, when it's getting out, have to, to stop like that. It's quite good. Wow, this is amazing. So this is completely like a peached iced tea. I yes. mean, it's just without any bitterness, bitterness at all. It has a really, really, there's zero, I mean, I can taste zero tannin, so zero yes. bitterness. I mean, it's very interesting when you have some party, you know? When yeah. you have some, uh, we call that Li Shoku, when you have some normal standing party, oh, you know? Yeah. It's so easy because to drink alcohol once, two, yeah, three, yeah. after you. Yeah. It's good to have that, you know. Oh, it's great. And actually the, thing, the thing is, and you feel like you're included in the party because it looks like a beautiful white wine. Yes, and I will tell you something else. You can enjoy the flavor. You can enjoy the straight of the tea. I mean, that doesn't, mm. doesn't go against the food because no sugar. So it's and very easy to fit that with food. There is just one thing. Don't think that when you drink only one cup of tea, you will be great, okay? You need to drink it every day, every day, to take the, you know, the benefit from the tea. So, Stefan, thank you so much for today. I'm inspired, and I think the great thing is I've simplified my green tea routine. So, come by. We do, Kappa, and appreciate Japanese tea. And be a 